G'day folks, Rich Burdess here from Brighter Days in Christchurch, New Zealand with a Power Automate tutorial to show you how easy it is to send SMS messages or uh, text to voice messages through Power Automate uh, via the multiple third party providers that are there um, and available for you to make use of. Um, things to note initially is that most of the SMS text to voice services are all premium and you'll need to have an account set up with whoever your provider is to do this. Uh, I'll step you through how I did it yesterday uh, with um, ClickSend. They give you a, a trial or a, a test credit, which you can use uh, really early on just to test that this is gonna work. Um, I get like four bucks of credit um, and that's quite a few messages you can send. Um, so it's useful as a way to um, demonstrate how you can make these, these things work initially. All right, so let's um, skip into this demo. All right. So just to show you first of all, um, in my Azure AD, um, I have set myself up with a mobile phone number there, uh, which I can use in my Office 365 users profile just for this demo. Uh, you could use Office phone, first of all, but you gotta, basically you gotta make sure you've got a phone in the system that's gonna be able to receive messages. Um, Often your office phone could be a landline, possibly. Um, so you can get an array of items in there. Um, but if you, for this purpose, if you're going to try and do targeted marketing or something, then you want to have um, a mobile phone set up for that user um, in your um, Active Directory. Okay, um, now to show you first up, if we jump into the flow, like it's real easy. Um, Basically, I'm just manually triggering it, but what we could have is a schedule, um, daily schedule or when an item is created. The scenario here that we're using is um, a hazard register. And then so send me um, an SMS or a voice text to voice message when um, a hazard comes in or an incident or you know, it could be a P1 or something that's come from the help desk or something that needs immediate attention. You're not going to want to send um, messages um, when things aren't high alert um, generally. Um, you could send reminders, that sort of stuff, that you, something's overdue, um, or if something's been escalated and needs, you know, it kind of, this is, a, this, uh, sending a phone message is a call to action, right? So they've got to, it's got to be a valid reason. Um, so I'll just quickly adjust this back to um, zero in the SMS sent, because I don't want to spam this person, which is me, um, on this dev tenant continually. So we just change that back. So we've got SMS sent as zero, so it's, if it's one, it's not going to send it. Um, and then to show you how the flow works, I get items from my hazard register, and then I'm using the OData filter um, for my get items. Um, the name of my columns that I'm checking are SMS sent and risk level. Um, so SMS sent is a number, so I don't need any speech marks around it. So basically SMS sent equals zero and risk level is high. So give me items that are gonna match that. Um, and then what I do, I'll just show you back back in the list, sorry. Um, a person field there, so that's the person field we're using. Um, and I use, first of all, um, if I hide that away, three steps in my apply to each. So for every item that it finds that's high risk and there's no message sent yet, get the user profile of the person that's listed as the recipient for the hazard or the risk or whatever. Um, it could go to a generic message, could go wherever, but this one's basically sending a dynamic message to a person based on a selection. So I get the user profile of the employee that's listed in the list. Um, and then once I've got that information, what I can do is a few different steps. So using, um, I'm using send voice, which is part of send to voice today. Uh, I can send an SMS um, now to show you these guys. If you do, um, if you search for SMS, you're going to get quite a few different providers. There's lots that are there now. So the idea is finding one that works for you. In my locale, ClickSend works really well. I did try to do another one yesterday. It was based in Germany, but it took a bit longer because it was queuing um, my calls because it was a bit further away. But this one is in Asia Pacific, so it kind of works or a, a part of it is in Asia Pacific, which helps me. Um, and if you do like click on click send, you can see there's a whole bunch of different actions um, that you can do, um, heaps of different ones. And then what I would suggest is basically click on the little more info and then right click in your browser to go and learn about um, 
what this message can do. Um, if you're going to use any of these, you first of all, basically if I go, let's just jump in there anyway, um, head up to the start. Now, you, getting started with all these, you're going to need, so there's prerequisites you're going to need to have in place. Um, if I go right to the top of these guys, I'm probably not going to be worth scrolling too far, but basically it'll tell you at the start that there are prerequisites you need to have. Um, there's heaps in here. Um, let's just click. Um, so that basically is going to stand. It does basically works in all except government um, in the states um, and in China, um, but it's going to work for me in my use case. Um, you're going to have to want to get yourself set up on their website. So jump into um, their location and then register. It will want to have a phone number to check you against first of all, but then you can use other phones and it will send from a generic number. You can. So what I've done here, I've gone to click send. I've registered. Um, and you can see here I've, I've done a few tests with voice. Um, I had one bounce and a um, cent seven. I've spent 83 cents in the last 30 days and 47 today um, just doing some testing. Um, the bounced one was a good test. Um, I'll talk through how I, we figured that out. Um, but basically just register. So click send.com um, off the connector. So go to their um, URL. Um, you'll probably get a region for you. Um, jump in. Um, set up you can have like if you want to go full on with this you can set up you know a, a number that can be can it can come from um, i'm just using a generic number it creates for me um, and then within the dashboard um, now i'm going to wipe my um, api in a sec but just to show you um, so if under integrations and developers um, you, can, you need to go into the api credentials to create an api you're going to need to use to send Stuff. So I'm going to basically, you can probably pause that and copy it. Um, but you've got a username and, a, and an API, which I should have fuzzed out, which probably will do in um, when I put this on YouTube. Um, but basically, you need to get the API key um, to be able to use in your um, Power Automate workflow. So when you first create one of these, um, it's going to want you to create a connection. Um, and so if I did a brand new one, um, it would basically ask me for my username um, and my API. And so once I put those into the initial connection, um, then it exposes all the different values that I can use um, against my connection. So I'm calling Office 365 users mobile phone, which was that um, mobile phone I showed you under Azure Active Directory. And then I'm just doing a personalized um, text to speech message. Um, it's gonna go and find the hazard information. It's gonna say, hey, um, you need to do something rich um, and I could put more information there is a limit on the amount of characters you can put in and then you can kind of select um, you know, different languages different speech accents if you want for your region male and female generally across the board and then one thing um, that we sort of worked out yesterday is you're going to need if you're sending text to speech um, sometimes that can um, fail if um, the, the phone's off or something and then the, 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 the provider of the tooling will try and resend that message um, to you. So you can um, work out if your phone's got a voicemail service and then if it has then to send that message to voicemail in case it's not answered. So, like, so a lot of people uh, they turn their phone off at night or they have on like, kind of like goes to sleep so that you don't get notified um, during the evening um, or when you're on your own off work time. Um, so it'll just send a voicemail to you, a voicemail message to you then instead. So it's key thing to go. It's basically one zero. Um, so basically just have um, one for yes. So turn on the voicemail detection, um, and then what I do then at the end of my workflow is I'll just update the item back to the item that I'm always working on, and I just send set the SMS sent to one. I could add other different information in there as well if I wanted to. Um, that would be. Um, like you know when it was sent uh, but I've got that I'm under modified if I need it um, or I could have a log of you know uh, text sent um, and then in my dashboard I can also see when messages were sent into who to um, on the click send item so pretty straightforward the key thing is just finding an SMS provider and following their instructions of what to do so here you go under prerequisites there we go so knowing that you can only send 1200 characters um, and then at the moment so text to speech is going to come from one of their numbers they can't we can't modify the sender at the moment it's preview um, but it is um, available and i've just set myself up with a, um, a trial premium trial under power automate 
to do this and I've got myself a trial under the click send account as well so both things you can do to set up um, to test this um, show it to someone higher up the chain if you need to um, and then yeah, just make sure you register with whatever provider and follow their prerequisites to get the correct the right credentials so let's um, play this and I'll have my phone ring um, and I'll put it on to speaker and hopefully it'll come through um, so let's test this also oh, let's just go manual it's just gonna check my credentials there let's run that so you can see the flow has run and then there's a delay in terms of when the provider um, here we go that's my phone ringing text-to-speech message alert to advise you that a new high-risk hazard has been identified by Rich Bird that needs your immediate attention. The hazard summary is new incident, wildfire risk. The hazard number is 1. Please access the hazard register app to take action. There we go. So that's an Australian male voice, in case anyone couldn't tell. Um, and it's basically sent this message um, to us. Um, based on the dynamic content and the, the plain text that I had in there. Um, so you, you could have different call to actions. Um, other stuff could be a reminder, hey, don't forget your appointment tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Uh, that kind of stuff um, can be done. Um, so it's just showing you that there are providers out there now that are integrating with Power Automate to make tools and accessing marketing or reminder notifications via text and SMS that were a little bit harder to do a few months ago and now um, there seems to be a much easier way to make this happen um, within Power Automate. So just, yeah, wanted to show that was possible and something that's quite easy um, to set up uh, for your environment and, yeah, should give you another edge in terms of you know, using Power Automate for your day-to-day -day work activities. Um, hope that was helpful. Any questions, just please ask me. Thanks. Bye-bye.